So today we're going to take a look inside. We're going to look at some of the items that are in there. Let's find out a little history about them and also do some comparative pricing and see if we can get a deal by just going right in there and buying it directly. So here we are in Nashville. Let's go take a look at the American Pickers second location. Just to give you a little perspective how close we are to the city of Nashville, it's literally just a stone's throw from the city. Very easy to locate. And as we come around, what I really love is as we travel through the United States and we see places that have really been in the past, look at the old water tower, abandoned. And now we see that they are repurposed and this old automobile factory district, warehouse district, has been turned into really a trendy place with art galleries. And I love seeing that. Isn't that what people who love estate and vintage items really like the most, is making sure that older things are appreciated and that we continue to repurpose them and use them. So let's take a look at this. Lisa LePage here today, and today we are in Nashville, Tennessee, visiting antique archaeology. And of course, these are items featured by Mike Wolf, star of A History's American Pickers. As you can see, we're in a really cool, trendy location that's been here for quite some time. This is their second location that they have set up, and it is in an area known as Marathon Village. It's a turn of the century building turned automobile factory, now known as Marathon Village. And also these repurposed spaces that you see around here are just full of great little antique shops, vintage items, folk arts. And we're gonna go take a look and see what Mike Wolf has picked himself in this vicinity. And as you can see, it's really nice. Can't wait to get inside and see what we can find. Let's take a look. 